Welcome to another episode of Hardcat Basics. In this episode, we're going to show you how to create a new asset using the CatScan Asset Capture function. To access the Asset Capture function within the Assets module, you first of all have to click the little plus button next to the Asset module. To open, simply double tap on Asset Capture. With the Asset Capture module open, we can now populate the information that's required to capture our asset. As a minimum, location and product have to be enabled. Cost center and person can be disabled if required. To set the location for an asset, it can be completed in one of three ways. The first way is by selecting the location button. This then provides us with the location structure as exported from the Hardcat system. From here, we can drill down to the required folder and then select the location and then press the OK button. The second method for selecting a location is to scan a location barcode. The third method is to use the most recently or frequently used item button on the right hand side. By selecting this icon on the right hand side it brings up the list of either the most recently used items or frequently used items. And From here we could select an option. Once the location has been assigned we can now go through and set the cost center, person and product. With these four pieces of information now entered, we can now use the scanner to scan the assets assigned barcode. If your asset has an RFID tag attached to it as well, or is embedded into the barcode tag, we could also scan the barcode value or enter it in. If this asset has a parent or child relationship to other assets, we could scan the child barcodes into the has parts box. If this asset is a part of something else, we could scan the parent barcodes into the is part of box. The asset to tab in this instance has condition code, serial number and warranty end date. These fields are optional and can be set via the hardcat barcoding cat scan export function. If required, answer the information. If the serial number field is presented in the form of a barcode, you can use the scanner's inbuilt function to enter that information in. If your scanner has a built-in camera, you can click on the camera icon to activate the camera to take a photo. If required, you can take multiple photos. If the scanner used has built-in GPS functionality, you can record the asset's latitude, longitude and altitude information. This information can be used within the Hardcat Web Spatial Intelligence function. More text. The more text allows you to write extra information about the asset. Presets. The presets tabs become available if the product selected is associated to an asset type that has presets assigned. In this instance, I selected a printer. Printers have these preset questions associated. If required, update the values and then finally press save. Now that we have pressed saved, the information has been saved to the CatScan database and we've been taken back to the Assets tab. From here, it has remembered the location, cost center, person and product from our last asset captured. From here, we can scan the barcode for the new asset and update any required information. For example, the product may have changed or the person. Thank you for watching this episode of Hardcat Basics. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in this episode, please don't hesitate to contact Hardcat Support at support at hardcat.com. Thank you very much.